Thank you so much. Multiple people are left without a home tonight after several fires broke out at different apartment complexes across the valley. The first happening in an apartment near Jones and Lake Mead in the Northwest Valley. A North Las Vegas home caught on fire around 7 yesterday morning. Then another fire happened at an apartment complex near Washington and Rainbow. That is where we find 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough, who's live with a look at that extensive damage. Madison. Sasha, we're at Accent Apartments on Rainbow Boulevard, where 17 people were displaced. That includes two children. This happened early Saturday morning. Now, uh, you can take a look behind me where you can see the extensive damage, as well as people literally walking down the stairs to get their belongings and bring them back to their car. Now, while the cause of the fire has yet to be confirmed, according to neighbors, residents who live in the bottom unit were charging their electric scooter in the living room when sparks flew and caught the entire unit on fire. The flames quickly spread to the surrounding units, but those who live here say they never smelled smoke, so it took them a while to realize a fire was spreading. The alarms didn't go off to help anybody know that there was a fire going on, and people were knocking on the door to, to help people know that there was a fire actually even happening. If it wasn't for the people knocking on the door, I feel that my granddaughter that was in the house and my kids probably would have been in the middle of the fire when it hit so fast. They wouldn't allow us to. Neighbors also sharing with me that they never, like I said, they never smelled smoke, but instead they heard a loud boom that alerted them that something was going on. Now, later tonight, we plan on going to the other apartment you uh, located on Jones Avenue where 15 people were displaced. Hopefully we can hear uh, from some people that are over that way. Um, that fire is still also under investigation. Sending it back to you. Madison, thank you. The Red Cross says it's helping those displaced with temporary shelter, food, clothing, and financial support whenever necessary.